What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Audience experiment right now. What is your favorite cookie, baked good, candy, whatever that is, whatever your like number one guilty pleasure is, I want you to comment it down below. Who knows, I might use it in a video, but for me, my number one favorite has to be peanut butter fudge. And it's not like I ever buy it. I might only have it a couple times a year. For some reason, when I go back home for the holidays and I'm visiting my family, every house I go to, there's like a plate of cookies. And on that plate of all the assortments is these little squares that are so tempting. Basically. It's just sugar and fat. Terrible for you. Between December 23rd to December 28th, I ate so much peanut butter fudge that the Keebler Elf house burnt down. I've been praying for him. But today, we're gonna drastically cut down on the calories. We're gonna ramp that protein up, and I'm telling you, this is so easy. Even if you got a monkey banging symbols between those ears of yours, there ain't nothing stopping you from making this one. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic peanut butter fudge. All that delicious peanut butter flavor locked into a high protein treat. If you've been wanting a late night snack, but you don't wanna add to that late night done lap, then look no further than this video because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. Now, you already know, man, that RJF Anabolic Cookbook, this recipe is now in there, man. It just keeps growing. Every time we drop a video, this guy gets bigger. And the best part is you get it once, you get every future recipe I have for free. Seriously, if you're trying to find a diet that's sustainable, one you can actually do long term, where you're not giving up food, you're just making better choices. And I'm telling you, man, this thing might be for you. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! We are gonna start this lovely video off with a food scale and a mixing bowl. If you don't have a food scale in 2021, I imagine your parents still cut your food up into pieces so you can chew them better. First thing we wanna add is 92 grams of egg beaters. Basically egg whites with some extra stuff added to make them look like regular eggs. That extra stuff helps all this bind together, but if you only have egg whites, that's fine too. Glug, 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 glug. Next up, we need 64 grams of peanut butter. I'm using Jif Natural. Or is it GIF? Or is that the other way around? Just wash that scale and plop her in. Now we're gonna toss in 32 grams of PB Fit Powder. I got peanut butter on my finger. It's basically regular peanut butter that started living more active and following the anabolic diet. It's got way less fat. Just throw a nice dollop in there and watch that scale. At this point, we got these three things in here and what I'm gonna do is go in and mix everything up. And at this point, it looks like what happens when you give your dog too much people food. You're never getting that out of the carpet. And now what we're gonna do is add in 62 grams of a vanilla-based whey protein powder. I'm using that Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl. If you're making these recipes, by God, his protein will never let you down. Unlike these politicians. Now I'm gonna go in and give it all a mix one more time. At this point, it's looking pretty good, but it's still a little sticky and not the consistency we want. So we got a few more things to add. I'm gonna do about 40 grams of white flour, 10 grams of zero calorie sweetener. And then this part's optional, but I like to add a couple grams of salt. Now I'm just gonna go in one final time, mix everything together until we have a ball and I'll show you what we do next. Now that we got it all mixed up, I'm gonna grab a piece of parchment paper and then spoon our fudge right into the middle of it. And once we got it all on there, I'm gonna grab a mini loaf pan, sit it right down inside. And then once it's in there, I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and slowly press it down and form it into a square shape. I like to do the dab method because it is a little sticky, but if you just do this, you're fine. And boom, that looks pretty good to me. Now we just fold the paper over it and we're gonna toss this in the freezer for about two hours. If you wanna eat it right away, you could eat it right now, but I recommend the freezer at least an hour. Two's about perfect, overnight even, depends on how you wanna do it, but I'm gonna toss it in here now. And I'm gonna pull out the one I made earlier today. So I take it out of the wrap and I got a big block. So I'm just gonna grab a knife and depending on how square you want it, you can shave off these edge pieces right here. You see now it's much more firm, not sticky, that consistency we want. I mean, if it's just you eating it, you don't gotta do this, but I need a good thumbnail. And there you have it. Now we're just gonna cut it into squares. And 
And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic peanut butter fudge. After you cut it up, get it nice and square looking. I mean, heck, that looks like fudge to me. The difference being that we're actually getting protein here. We're not getting all that sugar. We're not getting all that fat. We can make our food work for us instead of against us. And you actually end up with quite a bit of fudge here. So what I recommend, after you get it cut into pieces, if you're eating it right away, go to town. But if you want to make an even bigger batch or you want to like save half for later, toss it in a Tupperware container and throw it in the freezer. These are best from frozen in my opinion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've been staring at these long enough. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. You know what it is. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, baby, it is go time. Before I dive into this, gonna get a little pick me up, man. Final Boss Aminos plus caffeine, atomic bomb sickle. Two scoops of fully flavor, a gallon. This one's got sour moon rock in it, though. It'd be blue if this was in it. So whoop. Mm. Tastes like grandma's cooking. Available at finalbossperformance.com. Code RGF10 saves you 10%. All right, I've had my eye on this big meaty one for a while now. We're gonna do this one right here, man. Let's get it. Three, two, one, there I go. Mm, it's rich, it's creamy, takes a while to eat. She's a creamy girl. You got that peanut butter flavor. When you pull it out of the freezer, it's a little colder, so it's like dessert. I mean, come on, man. Incredible. That literally take forever to chew. You probably require a teeth brushing afterwards. Not only are these delicious, they're gonna satisfy that sweet craving. And to be honest, man, I've had three. That first piece was big, but I've had three and I'm already like full. It's like dense. It's one of them things, right? When you're eating regular peanut butter fudge, at least how I found myself doing it, when you get to like something that's just sugar and fat with no protein, it just doesn't fill you up. Like you can stand there and you can eat and you can eat and that sugar just keeps tasting good and next thing you know you've binged and you've had 3,000, 4,000 calories in just sugar. Not good. When you don't have the protein there, there are no signals being sent to your brain that like, wow, we're full. Woo. Back off, buster. You're not getting none of that, man. So with these anabolic recipes and things like this, you get to eat something that tastes amazing, but it's sending those signals to your brain. You're getting your protein in. You're being more anabolic. Your body's more thermogenic. It's got to work to break down that protein, unlike something like sugar or fat. So I always say the anabolic diet and recipes like this. It's like a lifestyle, man. It ain't about giving up what you love, but it's about moderation, not binging and eating the entire thing of cookies. And when you eat something like this, I mean, I've had three and it's telling me like, whoo, all right, man, slow down a bit, which is what you want. In this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, you should end up with a decent amount of bites. For the whole thing, you have 958 calories, only 38 grams of fat, 92 grams of protein, 62 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fiber. And like I always preach, the only thing that matters is where your calories and your protein are at the end of the day. So like for my diet, right, the amount of calories I need, the way I would divvy this up, unless I had a ton of calories left over at night, is I'll split the recipe in half, eat half right away, and then save the other half for later, which is what I'll do with this. Around 480 calories, 46 grams of protein. Hey man, I'm cool with that. That would be one of my five meals in a day. See, it ain't that tricky, man. We can eat good. We just gotta get in that kitchen and make the magic happen. Mm. And if you got that cookbook, you are a step ahead of the game, man. You might have already made this recipe because as I'm formulating them and working on them, they hit the cookbook before they ever hit the channel. So you get to be a step ahead. You get a handy little guide right in your pocket. You go to the store, you look at it, you figure out what you need, you buy what you need, you get home, you get to making it. It's that simple, guys. So there's one thing I'll tell you right now. If you follow the recipes that I make and you actually stick to them and you make every meal the recipes that I put on this channel, I really don't see how you wouldn't see results. Honestly, I, I really don't think it's possible, to be honest. If you didn't get results, uh, we'd probably need to study in the lab because something's wrong. Something's real wrong. <laughs> Appreciate you guys as always for checking the channel out, man. Smash that thumbs up button, comment down below what you want to see me make. What is your favorite treat? Your guilty pleasure? Let me know because I might just work on it for the channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will teach every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, we'll do one more. One more. Mm.